Hi everybody. Um, my name is World of Me 944. Um, <laughs> it's been so long since I've done a um, video that's not for a, a college project on YouTube. <laughs> so like bear with me. Um, but because of what's been going on, in today's society <laughs> um i haven't been like willing to upload videos or take pictures or even blog about things i've bought i used to be able to do it and i just everything was just becoming too sad and it was just like a lot so i decided to just didn't care um as you can tell right now like I'm at the point right now where I want to create content and I don't care what I look like. <laughs> as long as it is presentable, I'm okay. <laughs> um, so today we're going to talk about <laughs> fragrance. And it's crazy because I, I have a problem. And it stems from what's what happened um, when I was in the military. I now, when I get into something, I binge it. So usually people like binge watch movies, TV series, um, stuff like that. Um, for me, like it started like that, and then it went to binging on skincare, then clothing. Um, very much makeup went back to skincare and because of this pandemic I have been been watching fragrance <laughs> I don't know how I got onto it like I think I fell asleep to YouTube on my phone and I woke up to a video um Jeremy fragrance and he sucked me in and I just I was in for for a minute <laughs> and then for two weeks I binged nothing but fragrance um and I was like you know what yeah you do need fragrance like you have a lot of no well, not a lot I actually gave most of them away um and I just started my whole collection all over again um but I have fragrance, so like I started a small collection and I found what I liked, which is I like smelling like a man. Like, I don't know, like just picture this nice, ooey gooey man and that's what I want to smell like. <laughs> Super weird. I just liked it. Um, so that's what I did like in my early teens to like early, um, 20s and so now I'm in the point where like I can do masculine scents I do like masculine scents but I'm also now going into like a sweet scent I like smelling like a, a gourmand so I like I would want to smell like a cupcake or a nice fresh out of the oven buttery croissant I like to smell like that <laughs> um I guess like my first big purchase would be um Juliet has a gun Lady Vengeance and I still have that one love it I got it like 2017 so I still have a lot <clears throat> then my next big purchase I guess would have been I blind bought this so keep that in mind um, it was a big commitment for the fragrance so I decided to just buy the body spray first if like the body spray then I probably like the cologne or the perfume so I bought the body spray of um, where is it uh, where did I put it? Okay. Oh, there it 
No, I did not. Bought this. Love it. I've had it since 2017. Whoops, I didn't put the top on right. Um, so I've had that for a, a while now. And then, actually, the same day I sprayed this was the day that I bought. You can hear all the rattling the spray like as soon as I bought it and sprayed it on myself I was like oh, yeah definitely gonna buy it now so that's what I did I <sighs> I have a problem <laughs> when I smell something I like I just I just I just like it so I buy it um so then that brings me to smelling like Rihanna like that was that craze last year when um I first heard about it because Jackie Ina um on YouTube she was like talking about it on her Instagram or yeah, Instagram and on Snapchat not Snapchat um Twitter and she was saying that she had met Rihanna and she, Rihanna smelled so good and she was like trying to DM Rihanna to figure out what the smell was and she heard through the grapevine that she smelled like this fragrance. So she bought a travel size and she found out that that's what Rihanna smelled like. And so she put it all out on the internet, you know, she bought her a couple refills just in case because everything was gonna sell out. So she bought the refills and then she told everybody that that was a smell. And then people went nuts, including me. Um, and People wanted to smell like Rihanna, so they did. Um, so I bought Love Don't Be Shy. Always to travel, because I'm about to buy a full thing of something I don't like. Which brings me to a different segment later on. <laughs> um, so I bought it, and I was like, oh yeah, this smells really nice. I like this line. Um, it comes with like this little decant, not decant, it's an amortizer. I forgot how to say this. Basically, it's a travel. <laughs> and it's magnetic. Love it. Um, then, I was like, you know what? This, this house, let me figure out what else they have smells for. So, I bought a um, travel set. Not a travel, it's a discovery set. And I actually gave that set to my cousin. Um, because I already found the fragrance since I liked that set. I had it for a good year and a half before I was like decided on the fragrances that I liked and this is when I found out that like even though I do like smelling like masculine I like Germans I like I said I like smelling like food <laughs> and I guess this is like the phase I'm going through right now um which is smelling like food um so they had two scents in there that smell like coffee and a distinct taste of coffee and if you see in the corner that's my dog his name is prince <laughs> don't lie him um so i decided that i really wanted those two and then there's a scent in there that i smelled and i was like oh my gosh like yes <laughs> and i Okay, I'm going ahead of myself. So I said that I was going to get intoxicated because it has coffee in it and it smells like coffee. And then Black Phantom also because of coffee. And I got intoxicated um, and where I get my scents, they ran out of it. So I don't want to buy the full thing because... I know I'm not gonna wear the full bottle like out <laughs> so travel size is pretty good for me and for my pocket the scent that like got me just like oh my gosh I didn't think I would like this um but like people who know me will know that like oh yeah we can see that you, <laughs> you would like that scent because of the name of it and I bought the full bottle of bamboo and harmony and well not bamboo and harmony bamboo harmony um i actually got this discounted because it wasn't originally i think it was 
280 and I like I think it was Bloomingdale's was having a sale on um, Killian like select like, bottles of Killian and this went down to 180 so I bought it because I was wasn't about to miss out on this deal oh, <laughs> I mean the the travel size costs 195 so full bottle travel size I'm good I'm just gonna get this so I did and I haven't worn it <laughs> like I just opened it and then I haven't worn it well mainly because I bought it during the pandemic and there's no reason why <laughs> um I need to go out and wear it for my own good um so then um Jackie I know was on Instagram and she said something about like philosophy um and their fragrances and so I decided to I went down the philosophy hole and I bought like a lot of shower gels and um lotions you know but her thing was fresh cream and I do like fresh cream like it's it's nice but um I bought a travel size which is, is my, in my purse and then I bought another travel size because I forgot that I bought that travel size I gave it to my mom because she loves travel sizes and their travel sizes are so cute and petite um and then I bought the full version which I have right here um obviously I haven't opened it because I have a travel size um but I got this on discount too because it was 50% off and <laughs> I like deals so like even if I don't really like like the smell later on because it's super sweet and it's not the it's not the sweetness that I'd expect it um it's like artificial sweet and I don't like that but I, I can tolerate it so that's why I'm, I'm okay but I can also gift this to someone else um which I'm, I'm I might do anyway um then I bought the full size of cashmere now this one this one smells super great super great actually like it's not synthetic at all like oh my gosh that one was just so sweet not in a good way either so um i bought that um i do have like a lot more to say um i wonder if i should say it now before you know what no i'm gonna say it now so uh as I was going through like my two week binge of fragrance community videos um I found like a whole bunch of like niche and designer house fragrances that I would like to try so I looked for discovery sets and some of those discovery sets were like way like I wasn't about to pay $180 for a Dior discovery set and I only like one well, that was a waste of my 150 180 and that doesn't even include shipping so no um so I decided to find like more of the niche fragrances until I like I trusted a site that could keep, give me like samples and like wasn't a scam so I got on Lucky Scent and I thought it was a scam at first I've always known about the site I just thought it was a scam so I was just like never about it um, until like one day I was just like well not even one day like last week on the 6th <laughs> I made like a $54 purchase on like samples nothing but samples and like I have all my little, my little samples in there and then um smelling fragrance reviews um he had this like coffee video and I found this house, um, DSH perf Perfumes, um, and they had samples of like, oh, like their um, collection, and again, um, the names caught me. Like, first of all, I went to their Grimaud section, then I went to their coffee section, um, but it was their Oriental section that like spoke to me because of Japan. 
I love Japan. Um, so I decided to get the discovery set for their Japanese oriental sense and um, discovery set for their um, Grimond of volume two, um, coffee and sweets. And I can tell you for sure that those were like a good purchase, a really good purchase. Um, and so <laughs> I have a lot of scents. Well, a lot of my scents finally came in and I like made um, scent cards for them. And I think I still have like, I have a whole bunch, like all my scent cards. These are all like my nose. I just don't like the scents for these. They're just not. Some of them are just like too mature for me right now. Like I know that I probably will like them later on in life, but not right now. Then I have like my scents, I call it, I have them color coordinated. Um, orange is like the maybes, which I like. I just have like sit and let it marinate. And these have been marinating actually since yesterday morning. Um, so, and then my yeses are great. They're good to go. Um, oh, this is videos being so long. <laughs> um, and then, um, oh, Montal, which is a nice house. Um, also because I had a, a coffee. <laughs> Some coffee fragrances that I, I was like fiending for um they had a discovery set and it was like $28 so I was like yes give it to me um and I liked the first go around I liked all say, seven in here I liked all but one then the second go around once I like, sprayed it and let them sit for a minute um I liked them then the next day I smelled them again and then I knocked it down to one two okay two two oh let me show oh three three okay <laughs> so I knocked them from six to three and the other ones actually didn't even go into a maybe they were just nose Oh no, one did. Sexual, um, sensual uh, instinct went to the maybes. So, did that. And then I got into like a, this house called a house of siage. And I just loved the product. <laughs> I just loved the packaging of the product. And then I, I was like, you know what? If someone's spending $360 on this this fragrance, I should look into it. So I got their discovery set. And this comes with like 10. Um, and this is like their signature scents. And so out of the 10, I liked seven. And then out of the seven, I actually bought one already. Um, but the crazy thing is I bought it before I smelled the set. Like the set came in yesterday and I got an email around like 9 a.m. And they, sh like the email was like, this one scent was, that's, is going for 180 when it used to be 360. And they're also having a 25% off sale right now. So the scent was like 270. So 360, 270, and that one cent was 180. So I was like, you know what? If this is the one cent that I'm getting from this house, I'm just might as well just buy it. So I did. And I'm kind of glad I did because, like, it was limited um, uh, quality, I don't know, limited quantity available. And so as soon as I got it, I was, I was happy. Um, and then I smelled the scent, and I was like, oh, thank Jesus. <laughs> it smells good. I can wear it. Um, and it's super light. So, um... Out of the seven, like I said, I got, I, I mean, out of the 10, I, I like seven. And then out of the seven, I know, since I already bought one, um, two, three. Three is for sure buying, like no cardboard is buying. But 
um, one, two, three, four. Four are like in my maybes. And two of them I'm actually, I will only buy because they smell like my, um, my grandmother who's always like, she smelled so good. And um, those two fragrances remind me of her. So I would only get them because of that. <laughs> I don't know if that will help your case. Um, and then, oh, and this thing was like $50. So, I mean, it was less than my Killian Discovery set, which I think was like 130 or $140. Um, but yeah, this is like my second biggest discovery set. So $50 for 10 fragrances though. Um, and then I bought the uh, special collection, which was like the Whisper collection. Um, and out of the seven in here, is it seven? Yeah, it's seven. Out of the seven, only like one. <laughs> and I guess that shows something for me because like, these are like super light, um, super florally. Well, to me they are. And I just don't like that right now. But um, the one I do like, I, it was a yes for me for sure. Um, and then I smelt it again. <sighs> yeah, now it's like a maybe. It's super clean though. Ah, uh, it's okay just like ride with me on the wave this smells like what i think a pixie would smell like like one of those forest pixies clean flirtatious and fun and it does like have a sweet vibe to it so i think that's why i like liked it at first but again this is like now a maybe because i just don't think that it's a full bottle worthy <laughs> of fragrance i really don't think it is um but yeah i think maybe tomorrow i'll film um all the ones like all the fragrances that like are my go-to that i'm buying um and then all the fragrances that i like maybe buying <sighs> but like hear me out for this one okay so throughout the whole fragrance community there's one fragrance in particular that everyone talks about liking like the hype about it is so big and it's so expensive <laughs> but everyone talks about it like either they like it or they didn't like it at first and they like, like it now um but they still bought it so like keep that in mind they bought this fragrance even though they don't like it and then like, later on then like maybe a couple months or sometimes like one guy even said it was it took him like a year or two to like it and now he's like, like he loves it um if you know this if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about but baccarat rouge i've never smelled this fragrance and i'm about to do what they're gonna be doing but on a bigger scale without even smelling this I am about to buy the $800 bottle I think I think it's $800 bottle or it's like the $500 bottle it's a 200 milliliter bottle I'm also buying that bottle um actually I'm buying it tomorrow <laughs> so <laughs> Ooh, oh my gosh so I'm buying that bottle and I'm hoping I like the fragrance <laughs> I'm hoping <laughs> um so I think maybe tomorrow um like I said I'll show you guys what I liked 
um, what I'm actually buying and what um, are my maybe categories. And I actually have, already have a category for what I'm actually like legitimately about to be buying tomorrow besides Baccarat Rouge. So you can come along on the ride with me. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> my pocket is going to be really, really sore. But I'm bored. <laughs> well, guys, I hope you had like a nice good time with me i know this is kind of weird um i know this is like a really long video i just uh, i'm i'm glad being back <laughs> so um it might not be tomorrow for you guys but it'll be tomorrow for me <laughs> when i put the video out and um i hope you guys have a wonderful day night evening wherever you are in the world and I hope you guys are staying safe. Bye!